Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second part of the exclusive first look at Gorg. So, in the previous video, we saw him from level 1 to 100 with his unranked skills, but now we're gonna rank up this monster and we're gonna showcase his true potential. Now, previously, I ranked him up to rank 1. Well, you see, what happened was that I left the relics on this monster and I needed those relics for Team Wars, so I had to quickly rank him up, and that's why now at the start of this video, he's at rank 2. And I didn't wanna do that because I wanted to take him rank by rank because he gets different skills at every different rank. So just like Dunraw, when Dunraw was released, this is a non-war master, non-nemesis monster that has rank 4 skills. So we're going to equip them all and we're going to see how powerful this monster can be. And then at the very end, I will tell you what I think is his best skill set when he's fully ranked up. So the first skill he gets is Underwater Bamboozle. He deals moderate water damage to all enemies, gives one extra turn to itself. He has yet another extra turn skill. It doesn't seem that powerful, right? Has a 3 turn cooldown, 29 stamina cost, but if you remember, he has he previously before he had two extra turn skills. So underwater bamboozle is extra turn skill number three. And let's continue and let's see what else we get. We're also getting electrified harpoon. Removes positive effects from one enemy, deals very heavy special damage to one enemy, applies shock to enemies. This monster has an AoE shock. Shock will prevent monsters from activating their extra turn skills, and it also deals some amount of damage. It's quite powerful, right? And it's special base, which is nice. So as you can see, it deals low thunder damage blocks extra turn skill. It kind of would have been nice if this was a thunder based attack. It just feels like it would have been considering it's called extra electrified harpoon. Let's rank him up to the next rank. Go here, rank up, pay the 25 to skip and feed him to rank three. And this is the order in which he gets the skills. So first he gets the extra turn skill, then he gets electrified harpoon, and then he gets mimicry expert, which applies double damage, evasion, and true vision to itself. How amazing is this skill? It's a setup skill that gives you increased accuracy so you will not miss and double damage and evasion so the enemy can't do anything to you. It's awesome. It applies double damage, evasion, and true vision. And let me click on true vision. Precision is doubled and it lasts for three turns. If I'm not mistaken, that's better than precision. Precision is just like a 50% boost. This is your, your accuracy is doubled. So you are definitely not going to be missing anything. And then that evasion is just nice. It's a really great skill on an attacker like this monster. Let's rank them up again. And here we go, speed up. And so now he is officially, or he will be officially ranked four. And this is when he gets his fourth and final skill, Harpoon Gatling Gun. Removes positive effects from all enemies, applies stun to all enemies, deals heavy water damage to all enemies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And more and more is Social Point doing this where it removes positive effects first, and then it does the effect and the damage, which is perfect because once again, if an enemy monster has evasion, if a skill says it applies stun first and deals water damage and then removes positive effects, then you don't do anything because the evasion covers it. But because of the wording, this skill first removes positive effects from the enemy team and then it applies a stun and then it deals heavy water damage. Which means even if a monster was previously immune to stun, because you know they made the changes to where now when you, when you hit a monster with a control skill, they become immune to that control skill for the next turn. So if an enemy monster is immune to stun, it will this skill will remove the stun immunity and then re-stun them. And then it also deals heavy water damage on top of that. This is a fantastic AoE skill. There's a reason it's 50 stamina. It is very powerful. So looking at skills group 4, I actually really do enjoy them. Alright, so for now we're just going to go into adventure map to test out the skills. I don't want to do PvP just yet. I want to climb the ranks, climb the trophies before I go into PvP. Because then other otherwise it'll be boring. So let's see. Let's start off with the strength from beyond. And now let's see. Underwater Bamboozle deals moderate water damage to all enemies. Gives itself one extra turn. So currently, keep in mind I am ranked up, I'm 120, whereas the enemy monsters are, oh, 122, so not bad. Underwater Bamboozle will deal 43k, keep in mind I do have two level 7 runes, and oh look, the shock did actually land. In the previous video in part 1, the shock wasn't landing. So the status caster kicked in, let's go times 2 speed. The enemy monsters are going to be hit with low thunder damage when it's their turn, and if they had an extra turn scale, they wouldn't be able to utilize it. I'm going to set up my true vision and my double damage. So there we have it, double damage, evasion, true vision. And then I'll do Harpoon Harpoon Gatling Gun. Dang, that looks tight. And look, see how everyone got stunned? The True Vision makes that possible. True Vision stays, which is even cooler. I'm going to do Charge with Rosinant, which... Oh, that's interesting. I should lose True Vision, but for some reason I kept it. So I think that's just a bug on Gorg. It should be getting fixed. Um, let's just see. I have my, my single target extra turn skill. Wait, whoa. That's an AoE skill? I didn't know that was an AoE skill. Oh, that explains why it's kind of weak. Let's recharge. Let's recharge. Alright, let me see that skill again. 
Because that was a... That came off as a surprise to me. For now, let me set up my double damage, my true vision, my evasion. So see, the enemy just did an AoE skill. I had my evasion set up. I didn't get hit. Underwater bamboozle deals... Oh, modern water damage to all enemies. That is awesome. Okay, so yeah. Got even better. What to do electrified harpoon. It reapplies shock. So yeah, those are his skills. And now what I want to do... I guess, you know what? Do I have any PvP attacks? I do. Let's see. Do I have any really tough opponents? There was a Volts right there. I should have taken on that Volts. Let's refresh again. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, Charmless. Perfect. This is exactly what I want to showcase. So if I put my Gorg... And if I put, um, let's just use these two monsters so I stay alive. Um, let's click fight. All I want to showcase with this PvP battle is the, the power of using shock and how you can counter extra turn monsters without needing an anticipation monster, without needing um, someone to actually be faster and beat the enemy extra turn monster. Just having Gorg in your team, just putting him in your team, even if he's level 100 and you're facing a 130 Volt, Xyla, whatever it may be, Charmless, you're going to be fine thanks to the shock. So I'll do times one speed. We'll let the relics activate first. Pesty trap, tenacity shield. What else? Another tenacity shield, double tenacity shield on my side. And the enemy has shock. I'm gonna do pesty for fun. So the enemy's all hit with pesty, reduces the damage output thanks to poison and bleeding. All right, let's see what he does. He's gonna hit me with maybe a total blind. Oh no, he hit me with a bleeding, that's fine with me. Look at Charmless. Pay close attention to Charmless. Charmless did my own sweat. My own sweat wasn't an extra turn skill, it's just a single target attack. But the reason Charmless didn't even bother doing an extra turn skill is because he wouldn't have gotten any advantage out of it. So, so we'll try again. For now, I'll just take advantage of my AoE underwater bamboozle. Gosh, I can't believe it's that powerful. And then I get another turn. I can do Harpoon, I can do Expert, I can do Gatling Gun. Ooh, I'm just gonna do Expert. So, wow, this monster. Okay, I can't wait to show you what I think is his best skill set and then utilizing him then. So, above space and time, look, AoE possession. Good thing I set up my evasion, so I was protected from that. We're going to recharge. We are going to recharge. Or maybe he's possessed. Maybe he'll do something against my own team. Good thing I have that evasion on. He attacked himself. Battle Tiger. Let's go times two speed. So, let's see. Smoke screen and hat thrown. Okay, so hat thrown was an extra turn skill. But see, he didn't get his extra turn skill. So just having this monster on your team is awesome. You, If you don't have an anticipation monster, if you don't have Faraday, if you weren't able to get Marquise, you probably definitely want to get this monster because he's going to help you beat those extra turn bases. Anyone that relies on a turn transfer, this monster will make it possible so you could potentially win. Um, If I was to do Harpoon Gatling Gun, I would kill everyone, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do Harpoon for fun. Take out one enemy monster, did 78,000 damage. I'm going to send my warrior to my monster. I have increased accuracy and double damage. I have increased accuracy and true vision. And we just have to... Honestly, we're going to... Well, yeah, we'll recharge. Uh, Charmless... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Let me exit out. Charmless attacked again, but thanks once again to the shock. Blocks extra trend skills. He's not able to do anything. And at this point, I need to exit out because, again, I am not allowed to win the battles. But that is Gorg just utilizing his trait. And that's the thing with a lot of monsters in the game currently. Just by utilizing their trait, you could win battles. It's it's amazing. We're in an amazing time in Monster Legends right now. I personally think so. So now the only thing left to do is to upgrade him all the way to 130 so we can see his stats when he's fully ranked up. And let's do that right now. And then I'm going to climb the trophies and I'll record some more attacks later today so we can see him like it is full, full potential when he's fully maxed out. But really, once you have this monster... Um, like again, you saw the trait is powerful. It stops your turn bases. Once you have this monster, here are his stats at 130. 4,564 power, 62,557 life, 4,466 speed. So great stats. If we look at his skills, what I would personally recommend for this monster is to run. Oh, you know what? I actually don't even need to wait. I can do some, I can do some live battles. That being said, definitely use Whale Hunter. It's your sea hater. You want that. You definitely, definitely want that. Definitely use your other extra turn skill. Let me see. Where is it? Not the guard down right here. Start with the bang. Special based extra turn skill. And then underwater bamboozle. That's going to be your third skill. So let's see right now. Whale Hunter has a two turn cooldown. Start with the bang has a two turn cooldown. Underwater bamboozle has a three turn cooldown. All right. So what is our last and final skill? Um, if you happen to get this monster at rank four... Honestly, you probably want to end up with Gatling, uh, with Harpoon Gatling Gun. That way you can stun everyone. 
this right here is his best skill set without a doubt. And then of course you can change it to your liking. Like if you think you need expert, the true vision, evasion, double damage, utilize it. If you think you need one of the other skills, utilize them. But yeah, I think this skill set alone is just very, very, very powerful. Because you're going to start off with Well Hunter, give yourself the Sea Hater, give yourself the increased accuracy, meaning you do not miss. And yeah, you don't even need True Vision. Thanks to Well Hunter, you do not miss any of your attacks. So if I'm not mistaken, the cycling with this monster is actually very crazy. You're going to be able to do Well Hunter, Underwater Bamboozle, start with a Bang, Well Hunter again, and Harpoon Gatling Gun, if I'm not mistaken. Or can you cycle Whale Hunter, start with a bang, Underwater Bamboozle, Whale Hunter, start with a bang, then Gatling Gun? Let's test out this monster. So maybe it's just a matter of making sure he has enough um, stamina. And you know, you partner him up with a Thalassa, you partner him up with a monster that gives him a stamina regen or a churn transfer monster. This is this is going to be cool. Let's see. So we'll do Strength from Beyond. And let's see the cycle. Whale Hunter first. Accuracy increased. And then we're going to do Start with a Bang. Attack. Then we're going to do Underwater Bamboozle. And then, yeah, I get Whale Hunter again. And then I get Start with a Bang again. And then I'm out of stamina. No stamina, no stamina. We'll recharge. And wow, that's cool. That's very, very cool. He's a he's an extra turn monster. Gosh, he is he is by far one of the best attackers that has been introduced into the game. Um, let me see what happens if I give him some more stamina. Because I'm not sure how the cycling works. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll, we'll just do a common monster. Um, anyone really. Here, we'll put you two. Oh, I need to give them some runes. Hold on. So this might take a while. I'll just cut to the point to the point where they actually have some runes. All right. So we're gonna do a live battle and we're gonna take on Thalassa. So I want to showcase the Sea Hater and just obliterating Thalassa. It's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be so much fun. So let's see how this works out. I brought in Dunrock because I knew my teammate probably was going to outspeed me, and so they did. So as you can see, the shock is in effect. So there is no churn transferring, if, even if you wanted to. So Ruby Explosion, unfortunately I did get possessed. Luckily I can remove it with Samael with Pain. But then um, Thalassa does get a churn in, so that's unfortunate for me. Fortunately I can get Frozen, however, which is what Thalassa is mainly known for. Thalassa can, however, do the skill of... Oh, what happened to Shock? Oh, Pain removed it. Darn it. Um, as I was saying, Thalassa can unfortunately do the skill that disables my trait and then freezes but look here i got fr freeze block and now i get to showcase whale hunter but keep in mind i have other aoe skills and even this obliterates so well i keep in mind i do have a 130 but we'll do whale hunter and then harpoon gatling gun look at that beautiful who's still alive um sammy's still alive let me do start with the bang on sammy okay get a shield no that's fine let me do this aoe skill and the last is death thanks to my powerful powerful Hater, and then Gatling Gun. Oh yeah, let's do Gatling Gun. I could have done my other AoE skill too, but I want to showcase the stunning. It's just, it's it's magnificent. This monster is just very, very, very powerful. Start with a bang. Or I mean, a well. Start with a bang. Just like that. K.O. So, like, he's a very... I think he is definitely the strongest water attacker we've seen to date. Alright, we're going to try another live battle. And check this out. We're taking on, um, let's see, what do we have? What did Ragnarok do? Can't activate cooldowns? That's fine with me. We're going to do Pesty. So now the enemy is weak to special based attacks, right? Um, let's see what else we are going to do. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, what do I want to do? Let's go start with a bang. Wow, that is powerful. So Anticipation does kick in. He gets a turn with Ragnarok. Let's see what he does with the Ragnarok. Oh, it's a good thing I have my Megatons on. And I'm going to do Whale Hunter to give Ragnarok another extra turn, therefore getting rid of the evasion. But you know what? I mean, yeah, the evasion. But you know what I should have done? I should have just done my strong AoE skill. Okay, actually even better. So see how the enemy all has um, skill mirror. Like, normally you'd be afraid, right? Like, oh, I don't want the attack to get reflected. Well, worry not. When you have Harpoon Gatling Gun, again, it removes the positive effects first. And then... Well, okay, Neobuki, you can't remove positive effects, so Neobuki does actually reflect the skill. So that was a mishap on my part. But you see how but you see how it removes the positive effect first? So it's just truly, truly powerful. And again, just to showcase that Neobuki, you can't remove effects from her. She still has it. Um, let's go Underwater Bamboozle. Deals moderate water damage to all enemies. Bam! 
I mean, you do have to keep in mind, Gorg is ranked up to 130, and my teammates don't have 130 monsters. But it, it is, there's no denying, this is a powerful monster. Maybe we should scale it down. Maybe we'll do one of the other um, type of live battles. And so I'm going to request the tournament mode. The tournament mode basically scales down the level of all of your monsters, thus taking away the advantage of having a 130 monster. So my stats are going to be shrunken down to a level 100. My runes are going to be shrunken down to level 5 runes. And we're going to see how that goes. Actually, I forgot. You need to change the skill set. Well, let me click fight. I, I don't think my skill sets are changed. So I'm going to have basic Gorg. So just to showcase, again, even though he's level... See, even though he's actually 130, in the tournament mode, he's only going to be level 100. So it kind of makes it... It kind of makes for a more fair battle. All right. So let's see what happens. Exhausting Mask kicked in. Heavy Duty Armor. Yeah, these are my basic skills. Darn it, I knew that was going to happen. So I'm going to exit out and I'll go back into the game. And so when you're selecting the skills, you got to make sure to change the tournament skills specifically. So, I want Gatling Harpoon Gun, Harpoon Gatling Gun to go last. The first skill I want is Whale Hunter. Where's that at? Whale Hunter is skill number one. After Whale Hunter, I want Start With a Bang. After Start With a Bang, I want my other extra turn skill. So, this is, this is definitely a must-have monster at rank four. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get all of the cells for this monster. Um, my Elementium and Water Elemental cells is probably going to go to Gorg. Like, I don't have the last yet, and I'm okay with that. Because once I have Gorg at my disposal, I think I'm going to be fine. Alright, and so I've changed my skills, so now he's ready for the tournament mode. Where he has the proper skills, once again the runes are, are scaled down, the level scaled down, the relics are scaled down. So this is a more this is more indicative of a fair fight, so I'm, I'm super eager to try this out. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. So let's see. Once again, showcasing. If we look at stats, if we look at stats of all of the monsters, they are pretty much on par. They are pretty much on par. Uh, we'll do pain. Oh, but this also introduces the warm ups, which I completely forgot about. So I don't know how the warm ups are going to be for my monster, but I guess we'll find out. And then there's also emotes you can do throughout the duration of the game. So that's always fun. All right, let's see. I think, I think Ruby has high warm ups. I'm pretty sure Ruby has high warm-ups. Oh, that's an interesting skill. So that might have had a zero warm-up. Your opponent left the battle. Oh, look at that. Gorg is OP. So this time we're doing a standard with limits. So it, it doesn't activate the warm-ups at the start of the battle, which is what I wanted. So we're going to start off by doing Pesty, which removes the evasion and activates all of that good stuff. We are going to do... Um, we are going to do Whale Hunter. I don't need to do Whale Hunter, so I'll just do... Start with a bang. I'm going to go after Ragnarok. Give him an extra turn. Watch, it doesn't matter what Ragnarok does. Well, no, Neil Buki is ruining it for me. But Ragnarok can do Blessing. That's fine. If I want to, I can get rid of it with Harpoon Gatling Gun. But I'm just going to do Whale Hunter, which gives Ragnarok an extra turn. I know my teammate. He's going to activate Skill Mirror on his whole team, which is completely fine with me. Blacksmith Masterpiece, there it is. And my Dunraw is going to die because I'm going to do Harpoon Gatling Gun. But watch as I get rid of the Skill Mirror from um, Elvira and from... Ragnarok see and I stun them because again I get rid of the positive effect first and then I stun and then I deal damage it is amazing oh Dun's still alive that's cool that's very cool all right Neo Buki let's see what you do let's see what you do Shinigami form if only the shock was still in play that wouldn't have done anything Ooh, I got hit hard all right all right let's see what does Elvira do words won't save you lost one of my allies come back from the dead Dun raw Thank you very much. All right. Underwater Bamboozle. Deals moderate water damage. Gives one extra turn to itself. Start with a bang. You know what? I'm kind of scared. I'm just going to recharge. I'm going to Samai Warrior. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to Samai Warrior to done. I need to get that Megaton back in the game. Ooh, I love this live battle. It's going to be a really, really great live battle. And again, more indicative because... More indicative of what it is to be a fair match. Because even though that's a 130, it's not really a 130. Um, let's see. I will do Gates. I lost my Gorg, but I'm pretty sure I can survive long enough to bring him back. Hopefully. Hopefully. Demon's Flame. Ooh, trade disabled. Alright, Neo. Neo's too strong. That Neo skill mirror. If only... I, I feel like in the future they will make a monster that can maybe remove remove something from Neo Buki. Alright, I guess you could always just trade disable, huh? Let's see. Nightmares. Ooh, I should have had my sword. Um, Let's daze the enemy. Ooh, miss. I think I was total blinded, huh? Let's do pain. All right. Recharge. Oh, Neobuki's gonna kill me. Neobuki's gonna OTK if if Neobuki doesn't miss. 
<laughs> and Neil Boogie's not gonna miss. Neil Boogie's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm alive. All right, Sammy. Sammy gets two turns. That's that's wonderful. I'm gonna recharge. Ah, uh, I'm gonna recharge, and I'm gonna unholy. I can't do unholy. Okay, so game over for me. But yeah, Gorg is just so darn powerful. A hundred percent, Gorg is so darn powerful. Oh, that's funny. I'm still alive. Healing amulet kicks in. I can do pain. And let's see, let's see. I think he's just toying with me. Don't toy with me. All right, this is it. Game over. Gosh, just finish me off. Wow. All right, so I, I will get to resurrect my Gorg. Bum, back from the dead. And, and honestly, there's not really too much I can do just because that Ragnarok is there. Watch him activate skill mirror. Oh, Demon's Flame. I thought it was going to be a skill mirror, but nope. We will do pain. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to recharge. All right. Recharge. <laughs> oh, this battle. Shinigami form. Kaminari. And then Elvira. Gosh. Harpoon Gatling. So stun, stun, stun. And then Underwater Bamboozle. Bam, bam, bam. Man, just great monster. I'm going to exit out. But phenomenal monster, as you can see. All right, and we're going to do one more battle. So here's an example where the enemy, once again, just showcasing how Harpoon Gatling Gun can just swipe all of that, all of that, that evasion starting off and stun and just the enemy's like, what do I do? And more importantly, the shock is also what I wanted to showcase. So let me just kill Natalus. So let me do, well, let me, not Natalus, sorry, um, Brutalis. Look how I'm not strong enough, right? But let me just do Whale Hunter. And now, look how powerful I am. And I can do start with a bang. Bye-bye. Thanks to the triple damage. I could kill them both, but I want Charmless to get a turn in because I want Charmless to do his extra turn skill and not be able to hurt me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love this so much. Forgiveness. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it's gone. Now that it's gone, I do have to actually kill him. Well, that's your own fault. Let me give myself increased accuracy. And so even if you don't take advantage of the Sea Hater boost, you can still take advantage of the increased accuracy, right? The precision buff. So, underwater bamboozle. Um, hopefully, he activates the, the shield that only makes it so light attacks take... So, Elvira only takes damage from light attacks. The shield skill, let's see. The photophobic shield. Damage protection, okay. So, damage protection, right? Start with the bang, 25k. Harpoon Gatling Gun says 22k. Let's see about that. Will it really deal 22k? Nope, 45k. Once again, you re you get rid of any positive buff first, and then you attack. Like, that's how powerful Gorg Gorg is. Like, undeniably, he he is the best water attacker we've seen. He, and gosh, like, we've seen monsters like this, right? Like, when Kane got released, Kane is similar. He has three extra turn skills, even has an evasion skill, but no one can cycle like this monster. Gorg, aside from being able to cycle, gives himself increased accuracy. He also gives himself triple damage against a particular book. That and, and that's a book where Brutalis is in. A lot of players have Brutalis ranked up. That's a book that Thalas is in, the War Master. A lot of players have Thalas because she's undeniably the best monster in the game. And you have a good selection of skills. You have special base skills. You have water base skills. You have an AoE skill. You have two AoE skills. And one of them that removes positive effects and stuns and then deals damage. Like, I don't understand. All right, and this will be the last battle, just once again showcasing Gorg and everything he can do. This time, I'm not going to remove the evasion and stun. I'm just going to recharge, and I'm going to recharge again. And this is again to showcase that thanks to Shock being in play. Look at that, Epic Quest. Sorry, Charmless, no extra churn. That is a perfect emoji. No extra churn. All right, Elvira. Elvira can do whatever she wants. Doesn't matter to me. Increased damage output, that's fine. Oh, what's that? You activated your Megatons? Oh, really? Your Megatons? Well, let me do Whale Hunter, and let me do an AoE skill, and check it out. It says 26,000 damage, right? But let's see what actually happens. Oh, you have Megatons? Brutalis? Oh, sorry, you're dead, because it's 26,000 times 3. Beautiful, guys. It's it's beautiful. And then I have another extra turn skill, so I'll attack Charmless. Oh, look, I have another extra turn skill, Whale Hunter. And, oh, I, I ran out of stamina. I should have just done my other skill. But good thing I have my my um my rossi god and oh this time he did remove the buff or maybe he just ran out so this time we will do start with a bang bye bye charmless we'll do whale hunter we'll do bamboozle 
we'll do start with the bang and then oh my charging banner kicked in oh that's another thing about this monster yes you can utilize the charging banner so you can you can definitely really cycle with his skills we'll recharge let's see what he does with alvira if anything oh my god undoubtedly like if, if anyone wants to fight me if anyone wants to debate me that this is not the most powerful water monster or maybe even one of the most powerful water attackers or not even just water one of the most powerful attackers hands down like the fight me in the comments he's he's too good He's just way too good. He has a deny skill. He has self accuracy, three extra turn skills, good cycling. He's amazing. And so, with that being said, that is going to conclude this video on Gorg. A huge thanks to my teammates for letting me battle you in live and kick your butts. It was a lot of fun. A huge, huge thanks to Social Point for giving me early access to Gorg so I can showcase him for all of you guys, for giving me all of the cells to ring this monster up all the way to 130, for giving me the gems to speed up, for giving me the food to feed him. Thank you very, very much at this point. I am so darn grateful. And with that being said, I want you guys to give me your honest opinion on Gorg in the comments below. What do you think about this monster? Go at it. Go crazy. Comments below. Thank you very much, and I will see you all next time.